Good afternoon to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club tutorial. I'm going to deal a little bit more with the question of per unit levies and the issue of body corporate services today. You probably know that I recently wrote an article which dealt with levies and the point of the article was that levies must be based either on the participation quotas or on a rule made in terms of section 32.4 of the Act. It seems um, that people want to find a way to charge equally, particularly for some things like security services. And they, despite knowing about it, they don't seem to want to go to the hassle of making a rule by special resolution, getting the consent of adversely affected owners, and getting a notification of the rule filed at the deeds registry. And as I say in my article, that is the only way in which it can be done, in which you can raise levies on a basis other than the PQ. So maybe getting the special resolution or the consent of those adversely affected is just not that easy. And people still think, but I want to do this on an equal basis. And sometimes they may think, are there any alternatives? Well, let me examine one possibility in certain limited circumstances. Um, what about subsection 38i? Well, what does it say? It says that the body corporate has the power to enter into an agreement with any owner or occupier of a section for the provision of amenities or services by the body corporate to that section or to the owner or occupier thereof. It continues to deal with short-term leases by saying that this power includes the right to let a portion of the common property to any owner or occupier by means of a lease um, other than one contemplated in, in section 17.1 and that of course is a long lease. So for a short lease um, the body corporate can make the decision to let a portion of the common property. Um, that's not the subject of this uh, video tutorial, so I'll move rapidly on. Let's go back to the first part of that provision, the body corporate service or amenity supply contract. The body corporate can charge each owner or occupier the same amount for a service or amenity, which it supplies to them in terms of a contract. So what could this cover, for example? Well, it might cover DSTV, broadband internet, or another digital service. It could cover meals or attendance at entertainments, but it, it will not be applicable to some general expense, such as a security service that applies across the board. You can't say we're going to get um, some new security element, uh, beams, for example, and because they give everyone an equal benefit, they all get to pay the same amount. That is not the case. What is the requirement? Well, this provision requires a body corporate contract with each owner or occupier concerned, and participation in that is voluntary. So unless you have voluntary participation in a body corporate contract, you can't charge everybody equally for a service unless you've made a Section 32.4 rule. Otherwise, you have to charge in terms of the participation quotas of each section concerned. Thank you for this, for joining me in this, in this tutorial, and I look forward to discussing this with you in the discussion forum.